Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Death by Coconut Irish Porter from Oscar Blues Brewery, Longmont, Colorado. I've never been to Longmont, Colorado, but I have been to Colorado. I saw the Rockies at a game. 2006. Okay, um, six and a half percent alcohol. It appears that this was originally in a collaboration with another brewery. <clears throat> they had a different can design, <coughs> label design, and then they this year went off on their own. 25 international bitterness units. Brewed, <coughs> brewed once a year, apparently, according to the website. They use dark caramel barley malt, dark chocolate. They didn't say anything about coconut on the website. I presume they have it. It gets an outstanding score on Beer Advocate, second highest possible score. 97 out of 100 on Rape Beer. 99 out of 100 for the style. And I think the beer in me was saying an excellent. I can't remember. Um, I bought this at, at um, Martin Wine Cellar, and it was $2.99 for this can. I said, $3? For this can, this better be the best beer I've ever had. And I'm complaining, but I see other beers with these little 11.2 ounce bottles that are $7. I saw a bunch of those yesterday, six, seven, eight dollars I said, there's no way I'm paying $7 for that. I'll just imagine how good it is. Yeah, I paid $10.99 for that Black Albert, and that was last year and I'm not doing it again I'm sorry I just I'm not I'll just think about to myself um, I missed out people will say you missed out you missed out okay good good okay good I missed out I'm okay with that coconut is something that once or twice a year I'm cool with that I don't really love it um, a mounds candy bar once a year, a coconut cream pie once a year, that's it. I'm not a fan of coconut. I don't dislike it. Some people it makes them, you know, like they can't stand even to think of it. But I'm not. That situation. Thick. Beige hit. It's chilly out here. I mean chilly like it's around 70 degrees, but there's a dampness in the air and a breeze and it does make it feel a little uncomfortable. The humidity is so high. I mean, everything's sweat. Like, <laughs> I smell the coconut. Oh, that is dark, dark brown, almost black. Oh, yeah, I mean, it smells like coconut cream pie, frankly. Or does it smell like one of those felt things you hang in the car, an old, like, mildew? use car to make it smell not so bad okay so it's either a really delicious coconut cream pie or one of those felt car deodorizers or deodor mask maskers yeah like maybe it's like Febreze do you really want to drink a beer that smells like Febreze that spray I, I don't know if I really do good smell though in a in an artificial Young's double chocolate stout well uh, Young uh, Wells banana bread beer type way. It tastes like a rich, chocolatey, mildly roasted, mild to dark roasted porter. Porter. Mm. Oh, you like that Bailey's with that Irish cream? But you said you don't drink hard liquor. Oh. Squirrel battle. Um. I've never had this before. I'm sure there's a number of video reviews for it. I kept seeing people posting on uh, Facebook, different beer groups. Death by Coconut. Like around the last year, especially in the last month or so. Death by Coconut. And they're going like berserk over it. 
So I was like, if I run across it, I'm going to get it. But, I mean, they go, they, they you know, I, I, I noticed these beer groups and they just go crazy over stuff. I guess that's their main hobby. I mean, I'm like at games all the time, you know, and watching games and the comic books and the world history and the world government and the, the world geography. And um, so the beer is not like the main thing. So it's one of the main things, but I don't get like crazy. Over, I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not dogging people that are like really into it and they chase the um, brand or whatever. I, I just, I'm detached from it. I, like I watch it or like Maria Devon says, she lurks it like she does she lurks the beer sites so she doesn't really participate and that's what i do i just like mm, okay okay and they're just going crazy You're like where did you find it i found it here i found it here oh we're gonna all run over there and get it and i'll post sometimes well i saw it at matherns whatever you know so and that might sound bad me saying that but it really is the truth chocolate here well oh a medium mouthfeel it's about three and a half to four sugar cubes out of five on sweetness. So if you're into sweet, and they're saying semi-sweet on the website. Semi-sweet? I don't know about semi-sweet. Bitterness. Um, no. Not too much of that. Yeah, 25, and you don't even pick up the whole 25, and that's muted. You know, the bitterness there is muted by the... Um, sweetness and, and there's been a lot of discussions and education out there about IBUs the actual number and then the real um, encounter of it and that's so similar to this weather right here in real terms you know in actual terms it's about 70 degrees which would be considered you know on the warmer side but in in a practical way feels cooler it's chilly because of the high humidity <clears throat> um making me think about sam samuel smith's organic chocolate stout in some ways if it had coconut in it um yeah the finish is on the sweet side it's very drinkable the alcohol isn't too strong I mean you don't pick it up at all but I mean you know six and a half it's nothing you know um, usually you'll pick up alcohol more in a lager for some reason it just comes through more it'll be boozier and also the uh, lagers seem to hit me harder you know with that high alcohol it's just like you could drink a 5.9 percent Keystone and Keystone ice and it's like and I was theorizing that I have no scientific basis for this but but it could be one but that the alcohol delivery seems to be quicker with a lagers if you're into the drunkenness which I'm not but I've noticed it you could drink a not eight or nine percent ale and it's like mm, no big deal you know and then drinking the 5.9 percent Keystone ice and it's like I noticed I'll start slurring. True story. Um, so, A plus. Yeah. I would prefer it without the coconut, but with it, with the coconut, it's interesting. So, it's an A plus beer. It's outstanding. So, Lazy Le Bon Temps Relay, an A plus beer from an A plus company who I wish did their stuff in bottles because I just think beer looks nicer in a bottle it's a little more stately or whatever I mean it's like you could wear shorts and a t-shirt to go out to eat but then you could dress up nice and it's just nicer to dress up even though I don't actually ever really do it but it just feels nicer right even though the food might be the same but whatever y'all come on down to New Orleans go Pelicans